I don't really ever play in Oasis Springs. When I have to pick a base game world, I'm definitely more of a Willow Creek girly. And I don't dislike Oasis Springs, it's just not my favorite world, so I don't really tend to gravitate towards it. There's a few starter homes in Oasis Springs, and they're all up here in this neighborhood where Johnny Zest lives. Usually when I do play here, I go for this one, this Nookstone starter. And I was thinking about this earlier because genuinely, I don't know if I've ever played in this Sand Trap Flat one. I've definitely put Sims there, just as like filler placements, but I don't know if I've ever actually used this house for an extended period of time. And I've played in like pretty much every house in this entire game by this point, but for some reason I just never use this one, and to be honest, I don't really like it that much. A lot of the base game starter homes tend to suffer from the same problems, and this one in particular really has the lights issue. I don't know what they were thinking, but for some reason when they built these base game houses, they put like no lights lights anywhere. Look at how bizarre this looks. They've got one lamp with this weird like directional lighting and that is the only light in this whole area. In this whole big giant living space they've got one weird lamp and one wall light and that is it. We've got one lamp here, one wall light here, and those are the only lights in the entire house. And it just looks really weird with the lighting like this. And then obviously it has this kind of odd just empty back patio. I do like this part with this sort of interesting cover, but otherwise it's kind of a bland house. It's not too expensive, it costs like 14,000 simoleons, so we've got a little bit of money left over by default, and I kind of want to try to renovate this house. I'm interested to see how much we can improve upon this with these limited funds, because I do feel like it's got an interesting vibe to it already. They could just use their money a little bit more efficiently and have a way better looking space. So that's what I'm gonna try to do today. I'm gonna try to renovate my least favorite base game starter home. And by the way, I know for a fact that I have done this before. I just don't really remember when. And I think I can do a better job today, so I'm gonna do it again. I got my tester sim Stanley Humphrey here, and I'm gonna start off, I think, by swapping out some of these doors. Because these doors are really expensive. That double door costs 370. I kinda wanna try and use at least a nicer front door. I think it's okay for us to splurge a little bit there, but I might go for a more plain, regular door. Maybe I'll put a nice back door too. And then on the inside, I might just use like some regular white doors just because they're so much cheaper. And then I also want to get rid of all of these lights and put some, oh no, <laughs> not the whole house. I want to get rid of the lights and put some better ones. I have become so accustomed to having nicer lights in my builds. I always use this little tiny saucer light. It's only 50 simoleons and it's tiny. It lights everything up so well. I actually cannot play in houses that don't have it. I'm just so used to putting lights everywhere. To me, that is an immediate huge difference. They need to go back and fix that because we didn't have this light when the base game first came out. I actually used to use this one, this snowball pendant lamp for the same purpose because it was like the best, brightest light in the game. But for some reason, they just hated using ceiling lights in all the original builds. I will never understand it, but it's fine. I'm also gonna delete this weird wall because I don't really want that there. Wait, 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 I have an idea. What if we switch some stuff around so we could have the island over here and maybe we could have have the counters in the corner like this. Okay, you know what? I feel like that looks a lot better. We can also get rid of this window because <laughs> it's out of the way. I wonder if we could try a couple things like switching to have some black accents in some places because I do like what we've got going on here. Oh, oh. <gasps> Oh, you can sell that staircase. You don't need to have a staircase when it's only one tile high. Your sims can step up that. So that saves us like $600. Oh, these columns don't come in black. Oh my God. They need to go back and adjust some things. I'm telling you, this game is a mess. <laughs> the fact that these swatches are like so random on the base game things, they really, really, really need to go back and change them. You know what though? The white might be better. I feel like that just looks more interesting. Although, mm, maybe not not. I don't really know what I'm doing right now, to be honest. Can I extend this a little bit? Oh, that's really weird. <laughs> that's fine. Just leave it. Whatever. You know what? They've got loads of landscaping. I'll probably put a bunch of landscaping back, but for now, I might just let myself redo all of this. I hate to say it, but I have a serious desire to use packs because I really, 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 really want to have some columns. Also, are those windows gray? <gasps> oh, I've never noticed that. They're a different swatch than all the rest of the windows. What are they thinking when they do this stuff? That makes no sense. Oh my God. Okay, 
Wow. Maybe we could get a little bit of a patio back here too. Oh, that's probably too much, isn't it? <laughs> that might be kind of weird. Maybe I shouldn't have more holes back here. Unfortunately, I think it should probably also still all be base game. I can't help myself. This column from Get Together is the best thing in the entire game, but I'll be brave. I'll just use the base game ones. Columns are a huge waste of money. Okay. <laughs> you know what? This is looking a little better. I'm not really obsessed with this part, like the pattern. Oh, and part of me wants to make the whole place smaller. Clearly, I have not a clue what I'm doing because I keep changing my mind. But you know what? It being a little bit smaller does ruin the kitchen. So we'll have to rethink that part. <laughs> but it also saves us some money and it makes this front wall look less weird and empty too, which is pretty good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's horrible. Okay, what if we went for like more of a, no. I'm wondering if we could try and switch it up to have like more of a brown color scheme, but that's ugly, isn't it? So probably not. <gasps> can I switch the floors? I know it's more expensive, but doesn't that look way better? Cause we can try and mimic this like yellow color on the door. Maybe I can try and use a funky tile. They originally had this orange tile. So maybe I could use that as like a nod to the original. Oh, I've made a huge mess of this. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Um, okay. There we go. That's better than nothing. I mean, the tile is horrible. So maybe it's not. <gasps> Should I use a horrible color like this as a rug? No, that's terrible. I shouldn't. I kind of want to though. When else are we gonna get to do this? These are both base game. These aren't too bad. That kind of like matches, right? I don't know if I can bring myself to do this. <laughs> this might be too far. Okay, wait, what if we had like a cute tile by the entryway? That makes it look almost kind of intentional, right? And we could do a gray couch instead of the black. I'll get a bigger one. Listen, it's a base game starter home. There's almost like some charm in it being ugly. That's why we're all here, right? Cause it's, it's just like a little bit ugly deep down. <laughs> Isn't that what's nice about it? We don't have a lot of money to do like interesting decor. <laughs> so I think I might try and use some fun wallpapers. I feel like a cool tile backsplash somewhere might be kind of interesting. Oh, can I afford upper cabinets? This is like the constant struggle of me building starter homes where I'm like, it would be fun to have upper cabinets, but also it would probably be more fun to have like money <laughs> to, to buy anything actually useful for your Sims. But the upper cabinets are so nice. Well, this is kind of expensive, but it does add some more color and that's kind of what we need. <laughs> she says as she has this horrible, colorful rug, fake rug thing on the floor right here. Yeah, what we need is more color in this space. <gasps> 305, no. Oh, the chairs are expensive. Is it worth it? I think so. Just to have like a full seating area going on. And maybe I could get a nice bookshelf too. The problem is I really want to use this one. This is like my favorite bookshelf, but it's 1400 simoleons. So that would be quite stupid to use. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, that works. The next question is, do we keep the bed that was originally in here? Because part of me wants to have some nods to that like original space. I just don't like this swatch very much, but I also don't really like any of the swatches on that default base game bed. I've used them all so many times at this point that like all of these bed swatches are so uninteresting to me. What would be really good is if they took this bed and they just gave me like a bunch of plain ones like this, a nice simple wood and some plain swatches like blues, greens, even just like a plain white. Why is it there a plain white bed in the base game? I need like a million more swatch options for this bed. I would love if they went back and did a swatch update again for some base game stuff. I could list off like so many things that I want to have an update to, but the base game beds and couches are one of the main ones. I'm gonna get, I think, a little computer. I'm kind of unsure of where to put this. Part of me wants to put it in the corner because I think it looks kind of cool being underneath the windows, but I also am not sure if that's weird or not because there is a lot of stuff going on in this one corner. It's like kind of heavy over here. Oh, I need a back door. I forgot. We can put a door over here maybe. That might fill in some of the space. Okay, that's better. I'll get myself some lights next to the doors. This is such an ugly color scheme. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm thinking with this. I came in here like, oh, I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna save the bill. And then I use this. Oh, wait, look, this window's the wrong. Oh, never mind. Sorry. It, it was just the lighting. I thought it was the wrong color too, because it looked different than this one, and there was gray windows in the back. Never mind. Sorry. False alarm. <laughs> My bad. It's fine. Ooh, what if we did a brick instead of the tile? That's cheaper. Oh, it helps. Okay, we have a computer. We've got a bookshelf, TV, full kitchen. This is kind of all the major stuff I like to have in these builds. So we could probably start working on the outside again, because we have two 
2,000 simoleons left to figure out everything else. I feel like we need a tree. The base game does have kind of some trees that look like the ones that are in Oasis Springs. Like this is kind of similar to that tree, just maybe more alive. But we can definitely go into debug to find some better stuff. This is an oak tree, so I don't really think it would be here. But the colors look more similar to this tree, so maybe it's okay. Oh, we do have some like little palms. You know what? This one's kind of fun, actually. I don't know if I've used this ever. Maybe I can try and put a couple of these together, or at least just one of them. And then they've got some of these bushes like back out there, so we could definitely use some of these as well. Oh good, that's clipping. <laughs> Perfect. That's what we need. These are really good though because they're big and they're free, so they fill in a lot of space. They also match pretty well with the surrounding area, I feel like, which helps. Okay, so this is kind of similar to what they had before with the bushes like this. How do we feel about that combo? I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with the little flowers. I don't really like the, the bigger ones. Maybe I could paint some sort of terrain paint that goes between the two. I'm trying to make it look interesting, but <laughs> it's hard to get a shape that's good. Okay, that might work. And then I can just expand upon this a little because terrain paint is free and then it helps to fill up the backyard because there's so much space out here and it's all empty right now. This will help to make it look a little bit more finished. These little daisies are only 20 simoleons, so we could try and add in a few more of them too. I'm trying to make sure I save a little bit of money because I would like to add some stuff to the patio because I haven't touched it at all yet and the colors look really bad so I'm aware don't worry maybe we could do some wood instead I tried that I didn't really like any of the colors none of them are like yellow toned enough does that make sense because I want them to be similar to like this color I feel like that just looks really weird maybe if it were stone instead but then that's kind of like it's a little bland as well oh wait what about this because that's kind of like a nod to this gravel, but then it's more walkable because there's some pavers too. You know what? That's an improvement, I feel like. And then we can try and put a table outside. I'll use that sort of yellowy toned wood here. Maybe I'll get some brighter chairs like we have inside. The table's good because it's cheap and it takes up a lot of space. And also, since they only have bar stools inside, it's probably nice to have a little table out here. Ooh, I wonder if we could do something with this. We don't really have any black accents anywhere, so I don't know if that's a bad idea. I wish that it had white instead of the black metal. Those are only 50 simoleons though. I don't think I realized how cheap they were. How about in that color? It's kind of darker, but maybe that's better? No. I think I would have had to plan ahead to use that and picked a color that would match better on purpose. Maybe I'll do some little planter boxes. These are also 50 simoleons, so they're also kind of expensive compared to what the other things were, but they might look a little bit better. And they kind of have some function, because if you wanted to, you could have your sims actually use them. I think what I'm gonna do is put flowers in them. Oh my gosh, we could put like a little cactus. <laughs> you know what? Something about that's kind of cute, actually. That's not really what I had originally envisioned but I think I like it better. There we go. I think that's actually pretty cool. So we'll have a little table out here on this part and then maybe back behind the kitchen I could try and do an easel. These easels are a little expensive and they're also like kind of small so it doesn't fill in the space that much but I do think that there's value in having the functionality of the easel in a starter home. Like it would be nice for your sims to be able to paint like that. We also have not a single piece of wall decor so maybe I'll spend the rest of our money on that. Although um <laughs> I don't know where to put it. Are there simple things that are cheap, like the cork board maybe? That could be cute in the kitchen. Oh, we could use some of the debug art. Like some of these things. That's 255, but it might honestly be kind of cool. That sort of ties in the colors that we're using. Okay. I feel good about all the things I've bought. I just want to go through and add a little bit more terrain paint just to hopefully blend things in a tiny bit better. A little bit of terrain paint really does go a long way. So I'll put it all the way around the house and kind of underneath all these plants that we've put. I might even try and line the path that I made a little bit. Sometimes I'll do this where I'll make it really small and like as light as it'll go. And then I draw a little bit of darker dirt on the outside of a terrain paint path just because it adds a little bit of dimension. It's it's hard because it looks a little bit weird when a stone fades into dirt. Like the way this end of the stone just fades into the orange sand. So I'm trying a little bit to make it seem a bit more natural. And I do think that the terrain paint helps 
a little. Oh, you know what? I'm really happy with this. I feel like this version of the house is a lot better. I mean, I would hope it is because I just spent a while trying to make it better, but <laughs> it seems a lot more playable to me. It's still base game. It only costs 17,500. I think I'm a little bit dramatic about how much I dislike this starter home because actually the shape is pretty fun. The patio's cool. It has kind of some interesting like features to it. It's just the interior is so dark and hard to use that I never do, but I do like this version a lot better and it's not much more expensive. I mean, realistically, I added not that much new stuff. I mostly just rearranged everything. We did get a new computer and a couple new pieces of furniture around the place, but at the end of the day, I didn't make any huge changes. I just simply used their funds a little bit more effectively. I am so glad they've been hiring people to make the builds nowadays because they have improved so much. I don't even bother renovating the new houses that come in the worlds because they're always like really good already. It's more so just the older stuff that they struggled with. Well, I think on that note, we're finished. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I've been so busy in May with my charity fundraiser and then I traveled to see my grandma. So I'm finally back and things are calming down a little bit. It was kind of hard to keep up with videos during the month of May with all of that going on, but I did manage. We upload it every day still. Just bear with me as we're kind of getting back into the swing of like normal things now. So again, thank you for dealing with me and I'm going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye everybody. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait until we get a new world. I know we just got San Sequoia, but like I'm ready for another. I am so sick of the base game ones. I need more.